should have opened the door more, shouldn't I? Okay, right. Right, Fair Ellen, this has done very well for me. Scented variety. Well, scent is one of those ones that I always say smell like my grandma's house. It's that sort of sweet, sort of old fashioned scented variety that you get on a lot of these sort of unique types, sort of scented unique types. Uh, but Fair Ellen, it's got a lovely, it's got quite a big long bloom, what I call a tall bloom. I actually really quite like this variety. Um, now, this is going to need to be cut back by 50% at least. Now, this has been outside. did get a little bit of rain in the night. Uh, it's damp. It's not only wet. It's certainly not wet. Primarily because it's got this great covering of uh, growth on it. So the water's not been getting through. Um, it's so big that I can't really check for pests and disease at this point. Um, I will have look around the pot when I've done it because it's just so big. But we're going to need to give it a good clip. I will use in this case scissors. One of the things with uniques and regals and the like is that you can get away with not having a completely dry root ball when you cut them because the, the stems do heal and seal very well. Uh, and very quickly. Um, so I'm going to make an immediate start on this. I'll actually home in a bit, I suppose. Now, the only thing, the only problem that I have got is that I have not got any cuttings of this. So I probably should have taken some in the summer, but I haven't got any. Uh, I'll get rid of all this overlay growth because it's not really required. And I will continue to sort of trim back. I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I can so that I can continue to comment. One of the things that people do say is that when I fast forward, of course, you can't hear what I'm saying. And I do blurb onto myself a little bit. But this needs to be cut back by at least half, probably more than that, a good two thirds. Um, again, it's finding the room to squeeze these things in, in the greenhouse. Uh, it's not easy. Again, you're going to get rid of all the yellowing leaves and all that sort of thing. Um, if you've got thinner or weaker stems, they can be cut out completely. I mean, you probably will get a few on a plant of this size. But again, this can just be left to sort of grow on. I'm not sure what that was that flew off there. So when we cut back, I'm just cutting back to little shoots. And we've got a little shoot just breaking out there. So just go back to a shoot like that. Um, you know, just so that that will grow. That will obviously grow fairly quickly. And the other difference between uh, sort of uniques, regals and zonals and all that type of plant is that these will continue to sort of put on a bit of growth through the winter. They don't mind the cold and these are much, much easier to get through the winter um, than some of the other than zonal varieties. I'm trying to balance off what I'm going to cut off there. A bit of old growth there that all needs to be cut out. So we're, we're more or less doing the sort of circumference of the pot at the moment. Get rid of all this sort of wheat growth that's growing at the base here. Get rid of all of that. Uh, strong growth there. Put that there. Put that there. Put that back to there. Get rid of that one. 
entirely. Right, well that, that's the bulk of the uh, the lower stems. There's one or two that are dead. Now another big plant that I have had success with is Atomic Snowflake. And um, I will have to cut that, but I'll probably share that with you. That's huge. I mean, it's double the size of this thing. Um, and it's, uh, it really is a monstrous plant. It's going to be fun cutting that back, actually, because it's just so big. It's been the success, really, of the, of the summer. Without doubt, my best plant. Uh, looks, it's been stunning. Absolutely giant plant. Um, now, the thing is, though, I mean, if you want big plants, you know, you have to take them through relatively big. I mean, I'm cutting this fairly hard. I wouldn't want to cut this back much more than this. I'm just making it slightly balanced. So we're going to have to use that one. Uh, that to down to there. Put that down to there. And then it's the same story. You're getting rid of your... Um, your yellowing leaves and that kind of thing. Anything that's rotten on it. Uh, of which there is quite a bit on here, really. If you've got anything that's weak in there, it needs to be cut out. Um, this growth here is fairly weak. I don't know if I can take that back at all. What one's that? That's dying get rid of that well this was freshly potted up not that long ago actually uh, if I can find the label uh, yeah August so and I I, um, I did give it some uh, insecticide as well against the um, the mealy bug uh, it's got a little bit damp on top I think primarily because we've had a little bit of rain in the last day or two. Um, it's coped fairly well, but I think it's almost certainly going to need a water because all the tips are very strong. That's the uh, the main way I can tell that. Uh, it's only the sort of older growth that's looking a bit tired. And once we get rid of all this underneath, so I'll leave this in. I'll get it. I'll give it a day or two to recover from its crop. That's something to do as well. If you do crop your plants back like this, give them a day or two to recover uh, before maybe considering giving them a little bit of water or feed. In this case, I will be feeding this. There we are, we're getting there. Um, is that there was so much density on the top. There was no light getting down into here at all. So I've uncovered a lot of, uh, you know, dead growth primarily because there's been no light whatsoever getting down into here. Clear the uh, top of the compost. That's important to do as well. Just clear your, the top of your compost. Yeah, well, I think that's going to grow quite nicely. You've got a few nice, good base stem breaks coming out of the main wooden stems as well, which is really encouraging to see. I could probably cut this down really quite much harder, to be quite honest. What I've done, I've looked right down into the middle of this plant, and there are all kinds of little stem breaks just breaking out the wooden stems. And so we've almost got to a stage where we've done a second stage cutback where we would leave it like this and then wait a couple of weeks, two or three weeks and for the little breaks to come through. But, the, but there are so many already down there. That I think I'm going to afford to cut back a bit harder. So I might just do that actually. Snip that off there. 
I go too I over balanced. Get that out there. Get out there. Get one off there. There we are. I mean, we really have cropped this down now, which is where I would have wanted it really to be. Had to do it a little bit of a two stage pro, uh, process. See where we are with it. Uh, still a little bit of dead and dying leaf here, which I'm just going to pull out. But um, I mean, I'm virtually done now. I, I, I will be finding dead leaves on this for a little while. So I'll probably have to end the video. This is getting too long already, but I thought I'd show you what I do and what's needed to be done if you have got a sort of larger plant that you want to strip down and get through the winter. Um, it's not going to need too much in the way of watering now. What I would do Give it a feedy water, just a little bit around the base because it's a, a, a clay pot, obviously, in here. Um, once every two or three weeks during the winter. This will slow up completely now. But I'm more than happy with where that is. I will take the camera off to show you the little breaks that are going on down below. Um, but in the meantime, I've got a lot of content coming up on here. Um, so I'll uh, say goodbye from me for now, the way you can see me that is. And in the meantime I will just take the camera off to show you these lovely breaks down at the base. All down in here look, you can see we've got lots and lots of breaks going on. Hopefully you can see loads of breaks going on all over the place, all up the side here. All like the side of these wooden stems, lots and lots of breaks coming through, little green breaks. So they're, they're, they will make a, a really lovely um, plant as it begins to break through over the winter. And it will continue to grow a little bit, one right down the base there as well, on that hard wooden stem. Maybe you can't see it, there it is down there. Um, so there we are. Thanks very much for watching.